What's up guys, it's Goob, and today I'm super excited because I have another unboxing video for you guys. And today it's going to be an unboxing video of Geis Fafner, the evolution of Drain Fafner, one of the most overpowered Beyblades when it came out, and also a level chip, guys. I'm finally getting the level chip, which has been out for a super long time, but I've been waiting because, like, you know, it was $150 at one point. I wasn't going to buy it if it was $150. But I got it for much cheaper now because, you know, it's easier to get now. I have to give a big shout out to John from the Portal O or the Portal Zero because he was the one who hooked me up with these Beyblades or this Beyblade and the level chip. And I think they're the only ones selling the level chip right now on Amazon. And then they got Geist Fafner too. So like they're just really up to date with the releases. And as you can tell, their packaging is insane. Like look how nice these packages are. That they I know that everything's going to be in perfect condition when you look at the packaging of this stuff so if you guys want a reliable seller definitely go with the portal o the portal zero because they are a prime and they have really good packaging and they're also really good customer service so definitely check them out on amazon if you guys want to get some of the newest releases i'll have a link to their amazon page below if you guys want to go look at all the stuff they're selling so yeah let's get into this unboxing now Okay, we're gonna start out with Geist Fafner. I'm so excited to open this. I've never had a cardboard box that's like protecting the box of the Beyblade. That's actually so nice. Most of the times I get stuff, it's not like this. They usually just wrap it in some like um, bubble wrap and like that's all they do. So this is quite different. Ooh, and there we have it, Geis Fafner. Wow, look how nice this looks, guys. So the box is in perfect condition, as expected. <laughs> so on this side of the box, it shows everything that'll be inside. So you have the Geis Fafner layer, the eight dash disc, the absorb driver, and then the proto launcher. On the back, you get the parts again. Uh, shows it going against the Achilles here. These little like blue tabs kind of move back and forth and absorb attacks. Shows off the three metal parts on the Beyblade. And I think that's it. Got your Baylogger uh, thing here. Boom. Here are the stickers, uh, which I probably won't apply right now because they're a lot of work. Got the little rip cord for this proto launcher. Proto launcher, which I would really not recommend ever using. Get a different launcher. <laughs> okay, so I got all the parts out of the box, and wow, I am absolutely amazed by this Beyblade guys it is so insane like the detailing the size of the Beyblade is just I've been using a lot of Hasbro Evolution Beyblades recently and like this thing is huge compared to those Beyblades like it's gonna be so much heavier and bulkier than all of the other Beyblades I have right now um just look at this layer design too I mean when I saw videos of this Beyblade, I thought it looked cool, but like it's not as it's not the same as when you see it in person. In person, it just looks so much cooler. Like the design of it is insane. It has so much detailing. Uh, and look at I look at this gimmick. This is so cool. The gimmick like it has literally like it's like chomping. It's eating up that stamina. Eating up. It's just absorbing. It's just like so nice. The colors and everything. Then we have eight dash. Look at how big this 8-dash disc is. It's so big. It's super wide. And it, all the weight's on the outside, which is going to be good for stamina, I think. And comparing it to the original 8, look at how much bigger it is. It's so much bigger. Here's Absorb. Look at Absorb. It spins really well. But then, you know, when you push it down, it doesn't move at all, really. That's pretty cool. Let's put it together. See how good the uh, slopes. Oh, let's see how good the teeth are on this. Uh, about average. Not bad. Not great. Old Fafner. 
New Fafner. Wow. Got the old Fafner on the scale. It weighs about 40.15 grams. Putting the new Fafner on here. There we go. It weighs about 48.28 grams. So it's about 8 grams heavier, which is quite a big difference. I'm just super excited to open this, guys, because I love the colors of this launcher, too. And I really was interested in this grip because I don't have this grip. And it's, like, a little bit smaller than the normal grip. So hopefully it'll be better for me because I think the actual grip is just, like, too bulky and unnecessary, I think. Uh, so maybe this will be better for me. And then also there's like this weighted thing here, which I heard is actually pretty good if you want to even out the weight of your launcher a little bit. It can help, uh, you know, get like, give, it'll give you like a little more stable of a launch, you know. I don't know. It's it's not like a huge deal, but it just looks kind of cool too. Um, and then you know that this is really the, which, and then this piece right here is really made for Geist Fafner. It's a new frame, uh, you know, specifically designed for Geist Fafner, uh, you know, de being displayed right here. <laughs> um, looking at the box, this is a really small box. Like, I thought it was going to be bigger in videos. It looks like it's a big box, but it's so small. Um, the right side of the box shows everything that comes in it. So you got the long winder. So it's basically just the new launcher is just longer than the normal launcher. And obviously it's like this new black and gold color, which looks really cool. You got the, it's called the Carabino Grip. And then you got the weight damper. Uh, and Oh, and then the new frame, which is proof. And the back shows how, you know, you set it up with everything on it. Although I'm left-handed, so I'm going to put the weight on the other side, I think. Uh, there's, you know, good old Free, who's the owner of Geist Fafner. And here's the proof frame, which is for Geist Fafner. Uh, hope hopefully it's going to give it, like, better LED, I guess. Um, and here's showing how much longer it is. It's only a little bit longer, but it will give you probably like one or two more rotations uh, You know like around Other side just compares launchers. So you got the really crappy proto launcher Then you got the long winder, which is really really good the newest like long winder come from revive Phoenix I'm not sure if it's called the long winder. It's something like that um, You can see how it's like literally um, it's better in some way i guess i don't know what these stats say if you guys know what these stats say you guys can comment them below uh but yeah there's guys fafner which I hope this is the right side to open it from bam okay we got like some instructions and other stuff here which i don't really need um i don't think i will need them hopefully not and here's everything in the box. It's got the nice little backdrop thing going here. It looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, okay. And you gotta take off this little film here. There we go. The colors of the launcher and the carabiner grip are so nice. All right, let's start out with the carabiner grip. Okay, so this is the carabiner grip. Looks really nice. Uh, this is for like locking in the launcher, I think. Hopefully I can use this for the left-handed person. I hope it's not going to like make it harder for me to use it because I'm left-handed. And then you can push it up. So then you can actually like put it on like a belt or something. Or not necessarily a belt. Just like a backpack or anything. So you could basically just like put your launcher on something. Like a, you can like hook it onto something. So that's kind of cool. Like if you are traveling or whatever and you want to have like a launcher grip that's easy to bring around. Um, next up... We got the launcher this looks so nice look at the colors on this launcher so it's gold it's a really good gold it's like a bronzish gold um and then black and it just looks really cool see how, see how long it, it is actually wow you guys can't see it but like it's pretty long like it's definitely longer than my other one for sure and like it just it's it feels like it's gonna be perfect like I don't think you want I don't think you'd want a launcher longer than this because then you're just like I don't know your arm span isn't gonna get that you know uh -huh. then we got the weighted thing which is weird there's like a little ball inside of it it's pretty heavy actually and it has springs on both sides and it just like jiggles back and forth <laughs> now I'm gonna open that level chip that I still haven't gotten yet and I'm so excited about it There we go. 
The level chip. Hey, I love the packaging of this. Look how cool this packaging is. Honestly, that's so nice. You got Iga on the bottom, you know, with, with Z Achilles. And I'm just so excited to open this. It shows you how to put it on in the back, which I already kind of know how to do, obviously. I don't know what any of this stuff says. If you guys know what this says, you can comment below. Ooh. And the little level chip, it's so tiny. All right. So level chips used to be like 50 bucks. And now they're much cheaper. I think you can get this for about $30, $30 something dollars on Amazon from Portal, the Portal Zero. And this just looks so cool. It's yellow and there's not much to say about it. Let's let's put it in um let's put it in our Fafner. I think. Clicks right in pretty easily. It actually matches Fafner really well. I mean it's almost the right color. I mean it's practically the right color actually. Let's put it back together. We're gonna do a test battle with Fafner using the uh level chip. I should a quick clip of me unboxing it. Um didn't want to make a huge deal out of it because I feel like it's not super exciting, but it's pretty cool. Um, I really like how the launcher looks, and I'm going to use it right now with Fafner. Oh, I'm going to put on the proof frame right now because, you know, that completes Fafner. There we go. Proof frame is on. There we go. See if he can, um, he's not gonna be able to absorb any attacks. This is left spin versus left spin, but still might be interesting. One oh, hard hits, but not enough to burst Guy Fafner. And 2-0. Oh, and he was knocked out that time. So, this basically concludes my unboxing of Geist Fafner and the, uh, also the launcher and the level chip, which is on it.